There you go. Oh. This episode of Dean Attempts to Learn is brought to you by Sheet Happens, where you can purchase guitar and bass tablature books edited and approved by the musicians themselves. If you're a fan of learning awesome music, head over to their website at sheethappenspublishing.com and use code word DEAN at checkout for 15% off. That's code word DEAN for 15% off. I'm going to take a look at some other Archspire covers that you guys have put up, which is very cool. And now there's people smashing bottles in the alleyway behind me, and that's fine. It happens just as I start to film, so that's fine. I hope you guys are doing very well. Um, it seems like we have a lot of time to practice guitar, and so that's what I've been doing. Just kidding, I've been playing Final Fantasy. As you can see, I have my Final Fantasy shirt on. That's what I've been doing. So now to get myself out of playing Final Fantasy, I'm going to look at some covers. So I'm going to start with my buddy Joe Krishka. Well, this is an Archspire cover interrupted by Mom. So I don't know. That sounds like it's... Well, it doesn't sound like it belongs on YouTube. It sounds like it belongs on some other website, so... I feel like that riff is played on your low. Yeah. He's playing on a six string. Maybe he's tuned down or something. He does some very bored. Oh, it seems like he's doing pretty well. Let's see what happens at the end. Now I have to shower. That's weird, ain't he? Uh, well, it seemed like he did uh, plenty of the riffs properly. Thanks for the cover, dude. Up next, we have a cover from Arnold. And it's a song called Rapid Elemental Dissolve. This song does not have an official tab out, so we'll see what he's playing. It seems to have like a string hanging out, so it bothers me. It's just one string, too. It's just. Uh... That riff is not easy. Actually, supposed to hit a pinch harmonic at the end. Not an easy pinch harmonic to hit. And this is like a Toby riff. Using the open strings is like more of a percussive kind of thing. Doing fast triplets. It's tough. See how he does the solos. Yeah, that one is like a triplet tapping thing. But getting a bit more mileage out of the, the arpeggio by adding in an extra left hand hammer on from nowhere before you play the right hand note. Ugh. Oh my God, oh, that scared me. Whoa, why is there an owl there? Why did the song stop? Thank you for the uh, video, Arnold. I would love to hear more of your guitar next time, dude. All right, up next we have another old one. Do we have some old ones? This is a PK... I, PK Icon? I don't know. So he's doing a song called Deathless Ringing, which again, there's no official tab. So we'll see. From the first album, our debut album. Now I can hear his guitar, which is great. And he's got minions on his bed. Uh, let's take a second to inspect his room. What's going on over there? He's playing a Schecter guitar with these cool Fishman kind of pickups. And the Mickey Mouse bed top. I mean, this is your guitar player's bedroom right here. Now, that's actually one of the first riffs. He did a good job uh, that I ever wrote for the band. When I started jamming with the guys before we were really called Artspire. I wrote that riff because I liked whole tone a lot. But 
but I wanted it to sound like kind of thicker and not as spacey. But so I wrote this like almost kind of whole tony, but not quite. <laughs> tough one. I haven't played that in a long time. It's actually doing a pretty good job. Lots of very simple riffs in this song. Chromatic stuff. Not something that I would write now. It's probably my favorite part of the song. play that it's a great riff i did not write it. it gets pretty crazy at the end with the sweeps you can see the level of concentration goes up as his head lowers to look down at his guitar Very cool. Thank you for the cover. Up next, we have um, Marsu Granny Poodle. This is a really new cover, so this is a song called Calamus Will Animate. Let's give it a listen. It's not exactly how I play it, but it sounded really crazy. I really like his sweater. Whoa, he's doing some crazy hybrid picking there. So what I can tell is he's not playing off the official tab because we don't do a chromatic run there. That's not to say he's not playing crazy stuff. It's just not quite exactly right. If you want to check out the actual tab, you can go to www.sheethappenspublishing.com and pick up the official tab of Relentless Mutation by my band Arch Spire. Use code word DEAN for 15% off. Explain those are those are videos properly. Those ones are tough. Crazy. Very awesome job, my dude, uh, Marsu. All right, up next we have a cover of Involuntary Doppelganger from my dude Jason from Cytotoxin, which is a very awesome band. So let's check it out. He's playing like a combination of both Toby and my parts, which is uh, pretty crazy. Well, look at all these tour passes behind him. Whoa. That's definitely the hardest part of the song. Crazy. Hey, it's killing it. Awesome job, Jason. Thank you for the cover. All right. We have a weird one here. It's all instruments by one person which is crazy. Well, I can't imagine doing that. So we're gonna take a look. Oh, nice. It's got some Super Nintendo stuff going on. I can't imagine learning even the bass for this song, let alone the drums. That would be crazy. It all sounds right. I can't imagine the amount of frustration you have to go through to learn every instrument uh, of a song 
by a band like mine. It's just, whoa, look at how much stuff is going on on the screen right now. The amount of time somebody had to put in, this dude had to put into doing this, it's like, that's crazy. Killer job, dude. Thank you for the awesome, insane, uh, inspiring cover. Uh, up next, we have uh, my dude, Tommy. Uh, well, Tommy. I'm afraid to say that. Um, I have seen this before, but it's been a long time. As you can see, I've liked it before. I remember thinking this was so cool, but it's been so long since I've checked it out, so I want to watch it again. So let's check it out. I remember thinking that there was like a lot of a really amazing sections that translated really well to piano, like this one, and then some that didn't quite as well. But the way that you would have to arrange this for piano four hands is like, or for two pianos, again, it would take a long time. That's so cool. You know, the pinch harmonic with the octave up the, on the on the piano is like crazy. <laughs> A little diminished arpeggio, dude. Amazing. Killer job, dude. Yeah, that part reminds me of uh, Interstellar, the soundtrack for Interstellar. <laughs> Super spacey. Thank you for the awesome cover. All right, I got one more. Um, this one was suggested by a lot of people. I think I probably saw at least a hundred people being like, Dean has to watch this, Dean has to watch this, tagging me in it, sharing it to me, posting about it, sending it to me. So we're going to check it out. This is a cover by Kevin, uh, Kevin Heiderich. So he plays in Defeat Sanity and, uh, and I actually just met him in person in December when we were on tour in Europe. So we hung out, and he's a crazy guitar player, and he did this cover that's 15% faster than the actual song. I think I saw a snippet of it, but I haven't watched the whole thing. So we're going to check it out. Oh, sorry. Uh, whoops. There you go. Oh. Okay. Music is not a competition, but let me see if I can play it to that speed. I could probably play some of the riffs to that speed, but a lot of it is like, there's just no fucking way that I could do it. Yeah, I mean, that's craziness. Uh, I've seen his covers doing Necrophagist uh, faster than on the record, which is also crazy. Yeah, it's just crazy to see our music play faster. I don't, I've never seen anybody cover it like that. Lots of wrist picking. That would be the hardest part of the song. I don't even know how he's doing it. He's using his ring finger in some way. I think even playing this part would be tough at this tempo. You can tell it's real and it's the take that he's playing here. Very crazy. Mm, a disappointing groan from Kevin. Well, that's the kind of groan that you're going to get from me right now uh, after watching that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed me watching through some covers. Thank you for hanging out with me on today's episode of whatever this was. And uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy what's going on here. And let me know what you want to see me do next. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.